Hi and welcome. So today I want to talk about what's the difference between a soulmate and a twin flame connection. Soulmates are two and I'm going to do this really to the point so you get it really clear so there's no confusion. Soulmates are two individual souls down here having two individual experiences. They come into our lives to help us grow, to help us expand. Soulmates can be a lover, they can be, um, you know, romance, or they can be, you know, a friend. Uh, you can have a beautiful soulmate that is a friend. They can be your animals, they can be your relations. Soulmates are here to help us expand in soul school. A twin flame, on the other hand, is one soul having two incarnations. A, a twin flame will awaken you. How do you know whether it's a soulmate? How do you know whether it is a twin flame? Well, a soulmate won't cause such a dramatic awakening. Twin flames, because it is you in another body, you magnetize in your soul in order for you to awaken to your true soul essence, to your sovereignty. And in doing that, it causes um, a dark night of the soul and ego death. Why do we go through dark night of soul and ego death? Is because everything that is of the old dense world is falling away and it needs to do that. And the only way it can do that is if we spiritually die, so to speak. And so we can feel like we're broken on the floor. We can feel like we're, we're dying inside when we go through a spiritual awakening. A spiritual awakening is not easy to go through. It is not because the body is going through changes. The frequency that you hold is completely changing. Your relationships, where you live, everything a lot of the time is changing and collapsing and it can feel like you, you're struggling to breathe a lot of the time, you know, and your core wounds get activated. When you're going through a twin flame connection, your core wounds will be highly activated. And those core wounds are held within the sacral, the solar plexus or the heart chakra. And people often say to me, I felt like I was having a heart attack. I felt like I, it was worse than giving birth to cat. You know, that is because you are going through an awakening and you will see very strong synchronicities, one, one, one. You will see sim symbolic things that are very, very spiritual. Stags are very powerful on this journey. Swans are. They're there to guide you. They're there to bring you home. You will know. And, and you know, once it happens, um, often either the twins can separate and you both heal separately or you do this in and out where you're coming in and the energy is weaving in together. You will feel like this divine connection. You will know that something very spiritual is taking place. And I want to stress here that, you know, there is a process to follow and unless, and if you treat a twin flame connection like a soulmate connection, you will carry on looping. If you need more help and support on your journey, my courses are there. My website is there to help and support you. Negotiate the journey and help and support you through your awakening journey. Um, and also help you understand how you negotiate the journey and how you magnetize your twin back in, but in a healthy connection, not in that toxic energy. If you need more help and support, click down below. Make sure you subscribe, turn the notification bell on, send you much love.